What's up, duelists? It's Nerf here, and today we're going to be taking a break from ranked and playing some Gauntlet. Uh, I just noticed I won a match, and it was definitely a win streak, and I was confused why I didn't get the bonus uh, streak um, ranking up thing, because clearly I have five straight wins here. Uh, and then I um, asked a couple of people, and found out there are no win streak bonuses in the diamond division so that makes it very hard to get to s rank i am rank four now i think one or two more wins gets me to rank three but you really got to earn those wins um so a win counts as much as a loss every single time in uh in diamond rank in diamond division so it might take a while for me to try to get to s rank but today we're going to be playing all i have two tickets so i guess this one will be free and I love me some Lionar, but I've always heard that Magmar is the best faction for a gauntlet. So I will, uh, I'll choose it. Even though I'm more comfortable with Lionar and probably Songhai, um, I want to get comfortable with the cards of all factions eventually. So, starting off, what's this? Deal 2 damage to all minions in the 3rd area. Friendly minions in the area also gain plus 2 attack. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna take it. it. Seems like it could just like be a nice spell. The other two units uh, seem like they need uh, more synergetic decks. Okay, we got some good cards here. I'm gonna take the veteran self. Our very solid four drop. Um, putrid dread flare, scarcom maw. Two very van, three very neutral vanilla cards. None of them too good. I guess the maw. Actually, the Mossing is pretty good. I've seen him in a couple competitive decks in Diamond Division. Deal, deals 2 damage and you get a minion. It reminds me of uh, the Centalite for uh, Lion Hour, where it can decrease a unit's health by 2. Earthwalker, decent 3 drop. Dance of Dreams, eh. Dark Tide Frenzy, it's okay, but I'd rather have the unit. Oh, I didn't say so. You didn't hear me a couple of videos tell me tell you guys what happened in my last gauntlet run. Um, I ended up with 7 wins. Uh, so I got a gauntlet ticket, that was the bare minimum to get another gauntlet ticket, and I got a pack and some cards. I didn't really get anything special from that pack and those cards, I remember. But, uh, yeah, so I looked at the comments for what you guys wanted to do with gauntlet's videos. It seemed like, uh, this kind of format where I draft on camera and do the first match or two on camera works, and then, and then I can... Either, I guess I could try to edit things and show the last video, the last game like rewards, or maybe I could just add an annotation on the screen like what I got in the end. We'll see what I do for this video. So back to this. Sorry about that rambling. Um, T2 friendly, greater fortitude, just decent spell. Necros, I'll take a greater fortitude. <laughs> um, hmm. It's a tough choice. I like the Earth Sphere. Eight health is a lot of health. Grimrock is a pretty good grow unit. I'll take that. You know, the two drop of Hermal Shroud was pretty uh, tempting. Different damage made in plus two attack and plus four health. Wow. That's a strong spell. But it has to be damaged. I'll deal with the Grimrock. I want some decent four drops here. I have three four drops, a two drop, and a three drop. I need some lower drops, I guess. Young Selthar could be it, or Ash Method, though. I'll go with the Young Selthar. I like that two drop. What's this? I don't sure if I've ever seen this. Lower the cost of all spells in your action bar by one. Eh. Sun's. Steel Defender, eh. Cannon and Mechazor. Eh. <laughs> I guess it took the Sun Steel Defender by default. Don't love those three cards though. Government takes damage to minion gains plus one attack. Whenever your opponent summons a minion, deal one damage to the enemy general. And at the end of your turn, give other friendly minions plus one health. I'll take the Sworn Avenger, he's kinda cool. He can be a nuisance if not taken care of. 
Okay, we got some legendaries to choose from. Pato. Airdrop push all nearby minions and donuts around and place in the battlefield. That's cool, but sometimes it won't be helping you. Archon Spellbinder. Your opponent's Bloodborne spells cost one more to cast. They got not a strong enough ability for a 7-7 seven, seven for 6. And 7-7 seven, 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 whenever your opponent takes damage, deal 7 damage to around a random nearby enemy minion. I think Pat is definitely the coolest like wow factor play, but I think the red send is the most practical to be helping you in a game. Right? Yeah, probably. Storm Aratha, Amplification, Tremor. I'll take the Amplification, it seemed like a pretty good spell when I saw it before. Found in Life Force could be good for when you want to get your general 10, 10 attack. But that's a very situational card. Chaos Elemental, whenever this minion takes damage or randomly teleports. That doesn't seem very good. Steal a random minion for your opponent's second summon it. Hello, Mind Steal. Just want to see what I get. Mm, young Silithar, I like that. I want some 5 and 6 drops. I have tough choice. Do I take the Colossus or the Young Silithar? Probably Colossus, but I don't have a 5 drop. How many 2 drops do I have? 1, 2, 3. I have 3 2 drops minions. I have 1, 2, 2, 3 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4. I should take a 5. Mm, but these, I really want to make sure I have these Young Silithars in my opening hand, though. So I'm going to take that. The Colossus, I feel like. If you can get it to grow once, you're in great shape, but that first turn when you play it down, you could, the opponent can just hit it with whatever they want, because it's only going to hit back with one attack. Void Hunter, Bale Hunter, Bloodletter. None of these seem very good. I guess I'll take the Void Hunter. I could take the Bale Hunter, but... The Veil Hunter needs like kind of some kind of a buff, and all I have is really an apple, a greater fortitude, which would make it a little stronger. I only have one of those in the deck. Amplification only well, works on a damage minion, and this only has two health in the first place, so he'll probably be dead when he gets damaged. So take the Void Hunter. At least he draws a card. Um, another Young Silithar, I guess. Okay, now I kind of wish I took the Colossus before. Because now we're getting a bunch of low drops. Saber Swan Tiger, you can't really go wrong there. Um, how many minions? We have 14 minions already. Actually, it's fine to have minions. Uh, Kinetic Equilibrium, Crossbones. Uh, I'm going to take the Crossbones. A lot of times these decks will have random range units. These gauntlet decks. Okay, we got some big things. Let's go. I think, uh, what's this do? Someone in the random token, non token friendly minion destroy this game nearby. That's cool, but Silithar Elder is really, really strong. This guy's a pain in the neck for the other, for the opponent to deal with. So, okay, we have two 7 drops and so no 5 or 6 right now. We really need 5 or 6. Uh, I guess I'll take the 6 right now. Even though he's just vanilla, he's just still a big unit. Um, Emerald Rejuvenator. It's always good to have that healing. Uh, we have no Provoke yet, so I should probably take the Primus Shield Master. Alright, we have no Provoke. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what I want. I think it's a little overkill to take another 2 drop, especially against Zelithar. We do a lot of four drops that we're gonna take a two drop here. What do I want more provoke? Nah. Do we take another young Silithar? Sure, make him deal with it all. Come on, let's get some big drops. Okay, we got a big drop here. We have Dagger Kiri, which I don't love. Grimrock Windstopper. Do I take it just so it's a five drop? Or do I take Grimrock, which I might just be better regardless? I mean, Celerity with only two attack. Doesn't seem too good. 
No, it's nothing else on it. I might just take. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take Grimrock. Um, Natural Selection is a nice removal card. Uh. Hmm. Primordial Gazer. Or Veteran Silithar. Veteran Silithar is a very good 4 drop, but I have a lot of 4 drops already. Primordial Gazer. What do I. What could really benefit from plus 2 2? Definitely my ranged unit here, but that's really it. Like, I don't have any celerity anymore. So I think I will just go for the Veteran Silithar. We're really playing on a lot of. Rebirth here. We have two veteran Celethars, we have five young Celethars, and we have a, M a elder Celethar. There we go. Finally a five drop. Colossus. Um, yeah. Plasma Storm is good, but I have a lot of low attack creatures. Egg Morph is just pretty great removal when you, in desperate times. Okay, not loving this card, but we only have one five drop, one six drop, and two seven drops, but we'll see how it does. And I will take the, the Immortal. I feel like he's just a better general than the other one. Because the other one makes you kind of trade. Well, not trade, but you both draw a card and send only one of you drawing a card. I feel kind of bad that that's back-to-back -back gauntlet videos where I'm playing Magmar. But actually, I if I remember that last time I did Magmar, I probably would have chosen Lionar just so it switches it up. But I play a lot of Lionar and ranked for you guys, so... That would be maybe a little stale as well. But this is a pretty different kind of deck. Uh, that's not going to be played yet. This doesn't need it yet either. Let's get some two drops. Wow, I have all those two drops in the deck and didn't draw a single one of them in my opening hand. Well, at least I'm going second, so I will be able to play the Earthwalker on turn one. And a turn one grow unit is a good idea because chances are they're going to survive like the majority of the time. And you can take advantage of that grow factor and probably just gonna have to replace like a couple one of the four drops maybe the red sinja look for a better curve here but we have a lot of four drops in the deck so i think the deck's gonna play pretty fine in the mid game just playing we'll probably always have like a pretty decent drop to play so hopefully that works out for me and where is Twiggy Wawa? Okay, finally he's decided what he wants to mulligan. Good luck, have fun, sir. So this is the not the general that deals two damage in my column, so I don't have to worry about positioning on that front. Uh, I'll get rid of this red Sinjo this turn. What is this? Amplification. Well, we're just going to play the Earth Earthwalker then, and I'm not going to play it in a place where the his general can hit it is I'd, I want to try to make sure it survives I and mean, the general wouldn't be able to kill it just by itself but I don't know if he has a blood tier alchemist just deal one damage to it and my hand is filled with four drops right now that I can play without even having to take a mana spring next turn so he didn't this guy didn't really need to be one step away from mana sphere or a uh, mana spring so top deck to Storm Metal Golem. Pretty simple, dude. Um, could go for the early mind steal next turn. I have three four drops to choose from. Venerable Warmaster. Okay, well, uh, I th I guess I should destroy this and the thing that comes behind it. Now the question is. Ooh, it can actually do sort of some amplification as well. In that case, I don't want to play the mind steal because I, I'm not sure how this card works. I'm not sure if I could choose where I want it to spawn. And in that case, yeah, I'll go like this first. Yeah, I think I know what I want to do here. Kill that. Now let's kill that. We want to play the amplification. I'll play the veteran Silithar up top. 
and the amplification so that thing can survive and grow even bigger. So that was a pretty good draw for me. Next turn, I will have five, potentially six. So I guess I'll keep this in my hand. Yeah, so I'm not, I think you guys understood why I didn't play Mind Steel. Because I'm not sure if I was going to be able to choose to spawn it on a Mana Spring like I did. It was able to with the veteran Silithar. And this is a, quite a strong start for me. I don't know what uh, Twiggy Wawa is going to be able to do to combat this. White Widow. What is this? Some replaced shenanigans, right? Okay. It's not really much of a threat right now. Well, if he deals damage to that thing, which is a little annoying because that's my big threat right now. Oh well. And he's positioned in such a way where I... Well, he's able to destroy it this turn. At least he deals 6 damage before it dies. Uh, how do I want to do this? I should get rid of the white. W I can't get rid of the right white widow with what's in my hand. Mind steal. Let's play the. Let's see. Let's play the veteran Solthar. So I could play the. Yeah, I could play the Saber Spine Tiger. Probably should, so he can't do any like annoying things replacing his cards. Actually, nah. I'll just play the veteran Silithar. I think that's more effective. So I'm gonna kill this. I'm going to, I guess, give this some extra attack. Oh, nope, that's not the same. I forgot what what deck I'm playing. I'll play this here so he can't. Did he already attack? Yes, he did. He attacked the Blood Seer. I forgot I wasn't the Lion or General and my Bloodborne spell was not giving this plus two attack. Sorry. Good tissue. stuffy and more congested. Uh, what did that deal damage to my general? Okay, that's fine. I'm, I have a lot of health right now. So I top decked a Egg Morph, which is pretty strong card. I and mean, we're not at the point of the game where we're playing massive, massive drops, so it won't be super effective. Actually, maybe we are. We're playing five drops, six drops. What's that going to help him do? I wonder. Well, he can destroy it. Okay, I draw Grimrock. Oh, I saw like a streamer was had this battle log open the whole video. The whole stream, so I guess I'll keep that open so it's easier to follow a YouTube video. Wait, how'd that happen? Oh. Chromatic gold. It also dispelled it, so there's no, I don't get an egg. Oh well. I think we're still in a good place this game, though. Uh, how do I want to go about this turn? I could play it, uh, just the 8 drop. Egg morph, probably not worth on anything as board right now. And otherwise, I can't play 2 units. I'm going to get rid of the Grimrock, I think. I just don't love it. I guess I'm just going to play the Storm Metal Golem. Um... Yeah, don't see what else I would do. Do I want to have the veteran Silithar? Yeah, I'll, I can, I'll let it die this turn. Instead of dealing four to his general, I will go ahead and destroy that. And I'm gonna actually protect the egg 
as best I can. I'm only at 12 health, so I'm not completely safe. Yeah, so the eggs spawn like the hatch at the beginning of uh, your turn. So, basically, when you're attacking like Magmar's like units that have a uh, rebirth, you want to definitely be able. To, you can't just kill them on your turn. You have to kill them and the egg, or else look, there's just no point in going for the kill on them. So uh, we got the surrender, and we're one or no with this gauntlet run. It's been 20 minutes. Let's play another one. I'm fine with the gauntlet videos being slightly longer in the 30 to 40 minute range rather than the 15 to 30. Vanar. Vanar. Is this not the same person, but same general? Okay, so we do have one two drop to play. Let's get, we have a lot of four drops, so I'm actually gonna replace both of those because I'm pretty confident of strong four drops. And what do you know? We get two, uh, two seven drops. Good luck, have fun. And probably just replace the red Sinja. Hope for hope for another young Silithar or some other two drop I have. Just so I can have a big first play. Or if we play something that's a big threat here. I don't know what he could play that would want to make me Saber Spine Tiger on the first turn. Okay, I could always Saber Spine Tiger that and just go back to square one with him. Probably not a good trade. Just my three drop for his two drop. We'll see. I could actually Saber Spine Tiger plus Greater Fortitude. Which actually I think is going to be the play if I don't draw a two drop for my replace. He's in it. Destroys that and it leaves me with a 5-1, which could die to a Blood Tear Alchemist or something quick, quick and simple like that, but I'm willing to take my chances uh, if I can squeeze in another 5 damage on his general for like almost for just this unit, then that will please me. Okay, so replace. You don't get it. Uh, let's, uh... Yeah, let's do it. And... I'll just... I'll move all the way forward. So we'll see. We'll see what he has to deal with that. Hopefully nothing easy to deal with it, like a Blood Tear Alchemist. Next turn I will have four mana probably. And I'll just be able to play this Grim Rock. Okay, so I'm just gonna kill it. So I do deal five damage to him. And he has three or four mana to work with this turn. What is he gonna do? I'd be pretty happy if I can play the Grimrock in a safe position. Crimson Oculus and a 3 drop, or a, no, that's all I place. When every opponent summons me into this minion gains plus 1-1. One, one. Now I wish I had my overload right now just so I can kill this right now. Oh well, well let's replace this Elthar Elder, that can't be played for a while. Oh, we can't still, we can't uh, destroy this just yet. So I guess this is a fine turn to play just the Grim Rock. And over here, it actually is not in danger of any of his current units on the board. So he'll have a chance to grow. Hopefully, this does gain one attack and one health. It still dies to my general though. There's an Earth Sphere. If I get too low, I can boost myself way up. He has this, uh, his Bloodborne spell again. Or, starting to get his Bloodborne spell. And th this Bloodborne spell always scares me. I feel like when I'm playing... I feel like I have a very low win rate and ranked against uh, this general. 
Just like, oops, didn't want to move you. you, you. I always end up facing these giant minions because I'm too slow in the early game. But baggage. He's probably looking to somehow dispel or dispose of this Grimrock. If he doesn't, I'm in a pretty good pretty good position. I want to destroy this Crimson Oculus before I play another minion. Okay, his mouse is over this, right? It's cool on Duelist where you can see the opponent's mouse like in real time. It's like it's not something that was in scrolls. It adds like an interesting kind of like layer to the game. It feels much like more like hectic like each back and forth turn like something could really happen. Same time it feels kind of weird like you, I feel like you should be able to use your mouse around without feeling like, oh am I giving something away? So, I don't know. Okay, so now we have a 5-6 here. I can get my drone to three attack, but I do want to kill that. Let's actually get rid of the uh, crossbones. I don't think he's just going to be worth it. There's no range unit in sight. So we don't have a little more. So, huh. okay, I have to kill this now. So let's go ahead and kill this. Uh, play this just because. <laughs> Didn't have the fight before, I killed it because I had enough damage anyways. Um, I'll survive the hit on this, so I guess I'll do it. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna die next turn or not if I actually play this. So, at least that forces him to deal with the provoke if he wants to, not let this grimrock grow even bigger. Top decked a mind steal. I want to try playing that card, but I seem like I just always have like a solid four drop in hand instead. Next turn off six mana so I can play any of my three four cost things in my hand plus the uh young Silphar. <sighs> I'm tired right now. It's pretty late at night. I do a lot of my recording like pretty late. It's one AM right now, but that's when my family's sleeping. What does this do? It's not provoked anymore. Wait, what does this do? One minute becomes 5-5, five, five, can no longer attack generals. Okay, so I, I can't... But he, wait, I still attacked back. Is that, did that just happen? I'm kind of confused what happened there. Was that a mistake for him? I'm pretty sure my premise shield... I guess it means I can't attack generals, but it can deal, like, defense damage. This is just a flying unit, right? With infiltrate. Okay, so now I have a 7 4. I can outright deal 10 damage to you right now. I'm highly considering that. No, I shouldn't. I should really focus here. Okay, we're actually uh, pretty far ahead at this point in the game. I'm going to test my luck with a. Uh, with a. Mind Steal. And I'll get rid of a. Uh, Veteran Solithar. It's always good to have, like, the big thing. Um, so... Let's kill this. Now, how to do this? Steal a random minion from your opponent's deck and summon it. Uh, oh, oh, you can choose where to summon it. Okay. Let's summon it They're right here. What do we get? That's all we get. So sad. I guess I'll attack with it. 
So, not a great draw, but we use that card now. Next turn, I can play my Colossus. Probably replace something, though. He can destroy my Grimrock now, but he'd be taking 7 damage. I don't think he's going to do that with his general. Or he might just not have anything to do. He has... Yep, he just... Waves the white flag. Okay, so... Let's be 5. We can forget to tip the last person. 2-0. Oh. Um... If we're just over 30 minutes, so I'm going to cut off the video here. Uh, pretty perfect timing. And I'm going to... I'm trying to think, should I or should I not? I don't really want to go through the process of editing the video when I don't have to at all if I don't. So I'm going to leave an annotation on the screen, like right now, for what the finish gauntlet run was. The wins and losses and any notable rewards I got. So thanks for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time.